All right, today we're checking out the Gamo Swarm Magnum Pro 10X Gen 3i 22 caliber 10 shot pellet rifle. So this is basically a brake barrel with a 10 shot magazine. For more information on the Gamma Swarm Pro Magnum, and trust me, you will be impressed with this gun by the end of this video. Shoot it over to pyramidair.com. There'll be a link in the description. The one I'm checking out today is a 22 caliber. Right. Let me calculate. Just, just if you're wondering. Just like that, right there. <laughs> just if you're wondering. Nine times the square root. In this video, I'll give you an up close look. We'll go over the operation, test the accuracy and the power. Real quick, here's some hardcore stats. It says new for 2023. This is the next generation Swarm Magnum Pellet Rifle in 22. It says it has unprecedented speed and power, unparalleled performance, and offers smoother operation, improved accuracy for an outstanding shooting experience. It says the magazine index is using inertia force from the recoil of the air rifle, creating a smoother and more precise breech loading process. So this is driven by an IGT Mach 1 gas piston. It's got a two-stage adjustable trigger, a really nice polymer stock, which is actually automotive grade glass filled nylon. So it's lightweight and super durable, but it's got some nice stippling on the grip, forend and cheek piece. It has an 11 millimeter dovetail rail, but it's actually a recoil reducing rail. So I'll give you an up close look at that in a second. This is very cool. It weighs just 6.8 pounds. Overall length of 49 inches. It has a metal jacketed rifled steel barrel with a length of 21.5 inches. As well, it has a shockwave absorber recoil pad that reduces recoil up to 74%. And lastly, it has a five year warranty. So it's saying that this is going to shoot 1300 feet per second in 22 caliber. And it definitely will if you put super lightweight ammo in there. But if we're shooting the traditional ammo, which is 18, 15 grains, it's going to shoot perfectly at right around 900 feet per second, which is exactly what you want for the best accuracy. So it has a built-in, I guess you'd say, silencer on the end of the pellet rifle there. Definitely works. This thing is super quiet. It's so quiet that I'm not even going to do a sound test because it really doesn't make noise. One thing is it does say right on here it has a cocking effort of 41 pounds. So it takes a little bit of strength to cock it. Like a 10 year old kid might not be able to do it, but for an adult, it's not a problem. Here's a look at that funky fresh trigger. It's two stage adjustable and it does come in at a very special 11 ounce trigger pull. I do really like the safety. It's not automatic, but it does have a nice positive click on and off. So I definitely prefer that. Here's a look at the auto indexing magazine system. So to load a pellet, you're just going to drop one in right above the indicator right there and then spin it to the next one and drop another one in until it's full. Then to insert the magazine, you're going to see a little tab on the end that has the numbers on it. So the end with the numbers is going to be facing you, the shooter. You just take that tab, tuck it in the back side right there and then push down. Your magazine will snap right in to remove the magazine. You just take that zombie green tab, pull it forward a little bit, and you can pull the magazine up and out. Definitely quick and easy to load. As well, you'll be able to look and see how many rounds you have left. They give you a pretty nice scope. It's definitely got some weight to it. I'm guessing the parallax is set at around 25 yards. It's got three to nine power, very smooth operation. It's got gamo like, I don't know what you call that, machined into it. Super stylish. As well, this is an awesome scope mount. It's got a little hole that basically corresponds with the hole in your recoil reducing rail, which as we can see, there's a rubber baby buggy bumper right in the middle there. The dove's tail mount is one piece. It's kind of spring loaded, so it seems like a pretty nice setup here. Obviously, this scope is going to be spring gun rated, so that's a plus as well. I'd say the scope's definitely not bad. One thing that's very noticeable about this pellet rifle it's got a super stylish design. So whoever's designing these air gun stocks over there at Gamo, better be careful because Ferrari might want them to go to work. Beautiful styling on this bad boy. As well, they weren't joking about the performance and accuracy. It's a very smooth shooter. 
It doesn't have that clunky recoil that most spring guns have. It just has a nice smooth little thump. And it's not hold sensitive. I just held it totally normally, not even tight, basically like a PCP and let it do its thing. It would basically just give a little thump. And then more often than not, the pellet would go right in the bullseye. Also, I've never shot a Springer that had so many shots through the same hole. I'd say close to half of the shots for the half hour that I was shooting it were pellet on pellet. Definitely impressive. This is just the first spruik that I shot with the 15.89 grain JSB Reds. Holy crap, I pulled that last one, but I think I have one left. Man, that's a teeny little bullseye too. That's pretty awesome. You have to get the barrel cocked at just the right angle, but when you do, you're able to get a crown saver or maybe a patchworm in there, a pull-through cleaning system. And you definitely need to clean the gun before you shoot it, and here's why. So here's basically what happened over the chronograph. 25.39 grain were traveling a little too slow, although they may be accurate. I actually forgot to try those. The 18 grain is traveling almost a perfect speed. Let's just say 850 on those. But the pellet that is bang on for this Swarm Magnum Pro is the 15.89 grains. It didn't really like the Hades. Yeah, you don't want the Hades but it loved the regular domed 15.89 grain JSB. It was literally shooting him at exactly 890 feet per second. Check out that noise. First shot was 890 feet per second. So within a few FPS every time. Like I say, the 15.89 grain did shoot the best. Seriously, have you guys ever seen four out of the six first shots through the same hole? on the first try with a brake barrel? I know I haven't. So loving that. But the 18 grains also shot quite well. All right, let's try some 18 grains. There we go, that's sighted in, I'll say. But if we could pop bullseyes like that, that'd be great. Dang. Oh, you passed guys here. Be now. So later that day, I went back to the 15.89 grain JSB Reds, and I went ahead and set up some random targets to shoot. Here's a little test of the power from a 15.89 grain traveling 890 feet per second, which we've seen this before. It's going to be good. It'll take out cans, apples, anything you got a problem with. <laughs> oh, I smacked that thing so hard. <laughs> oh, I smacked that thing so hard. A little low on that one. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, seriously. <laughs> that was cool. Ooh. That guy again.
Wow, she's going right through. Crazy. All right, we'll just shoot his buddy. Yeah. All right, you guys, if I had to sum up the value that I see in this brand new version of, I can't keep track of all the names, but the one we're looking at today, yeah, the Magnum Pro, is that it's the most reliable brake barrel that I've shot yet. And I'm not talking about $900 brake barrels. This is an affordable brake barrel. And out of all the affordable brake barrels that I've bought, this thing's reliable. It does not shoot flyers. It may shoot, you know, a quarter size group every once in a while instead of a dime or a nickel, but it's never going to shoot a flyer, at least with the ammo that I used. So very awesome. And it's also very satisfying to hit a target with a brake barrel. So a lot of fun. And I feel like this is a gun that I would be confident shooting. And as you build your confidence, you're going to build your accuracy. So if you're going to pick an affordable brake barrel, I personally would pick this one. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We got more Pyramid Air Cup coverage coming at you soon. It's going to be a big time gun show on my next video. All right, everybody. Happy shooting. We'll see you in the next one.